All right, guys, let's get my drone fired up here. Go do some picture taking stuff. And land. Oh my gosh, what do I have going on here? Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam, the channel that most of the time doesn't waste your time. This is just gonna be one of those fun projects though, so probably not answering a question that you have. Basically, bottom line up front, I've hacked up my FlySky transmitter and uh, I'm using the gimbals from that to control this DJI drone. I'm gonna talk more about how I did that and why I did it, and we're gonna test it out in this video. Right after I say thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. PCB Way makes custom printed circuit boards and they also offer rapid prototyping services. So if you're working on a DIY project, cause you might like doing DIY electronic stuff uh, like you see here on this channel, um, then you should check them out cause they have thousands of components and circuit board types to choose from. And you can do the rapid prototyping stuff. So if you don't have a 3D printer or a CNC machine, they do injection molding and sheet metal bending as well. You can uh, send them your design file and then they can make it and uh, you can see how much it's gonna cost and all that. And then uh, they'll send it right to your door. So if you are into that, go check them out. I appreciate them for sponsoring this video. What am I doing with a FlySky transmitter controlling a uh, Mavic Mini? Well, um, I have a good reason for it, I promise. Uh, and I'll just tell it to you right now. Uh, the, the gimbals that come with the DJI drone uh, transmitters, um, pardon my language, but they suck super hard. They're really terrible, uh, terrible gimbals. And I've found that, you know, just regular hobby grade, even a cheap transmitter, the gimbals on here are so much better. Like they're so much smoother. They feel better. I'm more used to them. You get so much more resolution, blah, 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 all this stuff. This is what it looks like. I know it doesn't look like much right now. I really had to hack apart this thing here, this gimbal, so that it would fit in there because I had to like turn it sideways. It was a mess. Update, all right, Um, this has been interesting. Problem is this part of the board and the connector comes out, so I just chopped a hole. Don't mind that, I'll just cover that up, probably with my hand. So that's kind of cool, because it was a mess. But this is all just, you know, a, a test. And let's do taking off again. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it always slides forward on takeoff. What, how, how terrible. Okay, so looking at this. So now that I think about it, you know, a lot of, you're not gonna, you're not gonna notice the subtle improvements of these sticks in a really wide open space. Like for example, what I want to be able to do is fly it in close quarters very smoothly and do like orbiting and stuff like that. So the thing is the drone doesn't actually respond as smoothly as the sticks feel because the drone uh, is, is meant to be, you know, just pushed around with those rough, rough gimbals. It's so terrible. Um, but I think we're gonna get, we're still gonna have an improvement by changing the sticks. Like I feel like that's a pretty big improvement like that right there, that transition. I feel like you wouldn't usually see that those types of maneuvers happening um, with this kind of drone. Uh, or, well, definitely the majority of people are not flying these drones like that. So um, that was in the normal flight mode. Let's switch this over to Cine smooth flight mode, as they they call it. Cine smooth flight mode. So if we're looking at that, so I want to see how how smooth we can be. Of course, you can change your cine smooth settings. Okay, but but having these sticks um, be more um, precise, give you more resolution. That's going to make a difference. So I'm just trying to do a slow orbit. Oh my gosh. Apparently I did not charge either of these batteries or something. So, but this has been a good test for now. Okay. So fact of the matter is, yes, it, it is smoother. And, uh, 
I feel like I'm getting, I feel, if nothing else, I feel more confident in my ability to control this more precisely. Let's put it that way. And maybe it's just because these sticks are what I'm used to. It's possible, it's possible. And I'm also, here's the big thing, I'm used to adjusting the throttle all the time. So I'm used to being way smoother uh, and going up and down and kind of keeping a much more dynamic kind of throttle. There's me in my super sweet van. Oh, jeez, back up, man. Oh. <laughs> Son of a gun. These freaking drones, man, you gotta watch out for them. Cause they, for some reason, they can go forward super fast, but they, they can't back up super fast. Like that should be, that should be a thing where like if you, you, that you may always make it so that you can stop the drone as quickly as you start it. But anyway, um, and that keeps things exciting. All right, so to land, we just bring the throttle all the way down and then it's gonna say, oh, I think you want me to land, okay. And then that's all you do, no problem. I did notice that uh, you want to have the throttle centered before you turn on the transmitter. Otherwise it's gonna start beeping for a long time and thinking something's wrong. Okay, cool, so that was a successful test. This definitely works and it's definitely an improvement. So the end goal is to make, is to take a, uh, take the transmitter, the DJI transmitter, decase it, make a new case and new gimbals and then install it like a, uh, put them, put it in like a, almost like a plate format. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, a transmitter, uh, similar to other, uh, nicer drone transmitters, like the super high quality, like industrial or commercial level. I'm not sure the word. Um, and basically have the big old tablet screen and then sticks on either side. Uh, that and so then it makes a flatter package it's easier to carry and all this stuff because I am so sick of the awkward shape of you have the transmitter and then you've got that and then you got this you got your tablet and then hanging off and then what do you blah 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 and I know I know there's solutions I, I'd, I'm, I'd be curious to hear yours what's your solution to to this same kind of problem leave it in the comments below um, and I know they make uh, you know obviously the DJI uh, uh, whatever, I can't remember what that's called, but the, the transmitter with the screen and everything built in. Super handy, super convenient, but there are some downsides to that. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at making more of my own custom rig. Oh, well, and one of the downsides would be you still have crappy gimbals. Thanks, DJI. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching uh, RC with Adam, folks. I hope this was uh, uh, entertaining to you at least. Um, you will see more of this project. Uh, you can hold me to it. But if nothing else, it's always fun uh, testing things out, hacking up electronics, and uh, getting out to fly on a beautiful fall day. Thanks for watching, folks, and I will see you again very soon. We get bars, we get our goggles.